elevators in the hammer SDK. So we're going to select a new and now we're going to come in our textures, type in floor, find this texture right here. We're going to select our block tool and we're going to select a good size square here. Now click enter Now that we have our square here, right here, let's select our block tool, go back to our textures, type in wall. Okay. Select this, this select the wall you like. I'm using this texture. And let's draw out a good size square here. Up one here. Let's click enter. Go into your entity tool. Click on that. And if it's info player, and create the thing so we can use it as a reference. Alright. Using that as a reference is good. And now you can select your black tool. Your uh, selected tool and select your brush. And you can just select lower this a little bit. Okay. Now you can make hollow by your 32. Control U on group. Select the uh, floor. Delete. Select all the sides. And now bring that down. Alright. Now I select the roof. Bring this roof in. I gotta lower this. Okay. There. Lower grid size. So. so it fits directly inside. And now you can bring this down here lower the grid size you can bring this down some and carve then bring it back up okay this allows it to have more of a elevator look by having a underground floor okay select your block tool come in your front view here and Let's draw a square here around our to make the door. Create object. Now click carve. You can now delete this. Now let's change the texture of our elevator. Remember we're typing in metal. I'm going to select this texture here, click apply. Okay, now I'll select our brush here. And now click control T. And in our class, come down to function underscore move linear. Click enter, name it as elevator. One, apply. Now we're going to have move direction and we're going to set this as up, start speed, we're going to set it as 70, apply, move distance, we'll just leave it like this. Uh, once you are actually making it, you have to adjust the distance depending on how high and how low you want the elevator to go. So. So 
So the sound we you said as any sound you want. Yes. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Alright. Now go to your block tool. Just find a different texture. And then here let's draw a square. Uh, let's click enter. Alright, now you want to go into your block tool again, and we want to draw it a little square like right there. Click enter, change the texture to a button texture by going to browse, type in button. Click apply and now adjust the texture. We're gonna change the Y to zero point twenty a point apply. Okay, now hit control. Now select the button, hit control T and go to function button. Click apply, name it button one elevator. Apply. Yeah, we can set the button move direction any way you want. I'm just can do 90 here. Apply. Speed, leave it at 5. You can just set the sound as X is granted. Apply. Okay, now for outputs, you want to click add. In my output name, you want to put on pressed target entity elevator one, and via this input, open. Now click apply. There's another way you can do this also. After you create this button, you can use like a different size button, or you can use the same size button and make a whole bunch of them and remake the button property. Or you can use the same button to open to move and close the elevator. To do this, just add another output, put my output name on pressed target entity elevator one via this input close click apply now that when you press this button the elevator will go up once it stops from go when it's going up you press it again and it'll make it the elevator go down okay now select the select all of this and control G to group it all alright now make yourself a little skybox when you test this and have fun. This is dedicated uh, tweak. He uh, requested this tutorial. Have fun.